Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the desktop background color or change the desktop background image in Windows 10. So let's get started. Once you're on the desktop, simply right click and look for the option that says personalize and click on that. In the pop-up that appears, look for the drop down under the heading background and click on the drop down and select the first option that says picture and note that this is the preview pane that shows a preview of whatever you have selected. So let's say for example right now I select this fourth image as my background picture and this preview pane gets updated that goes to show how this would look on the desktop. So if I minimize this, you'll see that the image has been applied as a background image on the desktop. Now let me go back and let's say I want to apply the last image. I'm going to simply click it and it's going to update the preview for me. So the use of this preview is that I don't have to minimize this and then look at the desktop to get a feel of how it's going to look like. I can just simply take a look at this preview pane and based on what I see, I can decide whether I like it or not. So that's the only functionality of this preview pane. So that's one way of updating images. You can select whatever image you like. But let's say you don't like any of these images and you would like to upload a new image. You can do so by simply clicking on the browse button over here and select the image wherever it's located. In my case, it's on the desktop, so I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna select the picture of this lion and then click on the choose picture. And as you can see, the preview has been updated, which means my desktop should show the image of a lion as the desktop background. So let's minimize and see. And yes, it sure did update the background image. So let's go back. So basically that's how you update the background image. So there are a couple of things for you to remember. So whenever you're working with images, under the choose a fit option, make sure that you select the fill as the value. If you select some other option from the drop down box other than fill, you may not find it very suitable. For example, if I select fit, you can see that it doesn't fit the entire screen, rather it fits in the center of the screen. And then stretch kind of like stretches the image thereby disturbing its quality. The tile completely deforms the image in the sense that it just goes beyond the boundaries which you don't want. The center just centers the image in the center of the screen. And the span does a similar effect, but it doesn't have a very noticeable effect. So I would suggest that you leave it at the first option that is fill. And the second thing to remember is that make sure that you always select an image that is more in resolution than your desktop resolution. So for example, the resolution of my desktop is 1920 pixels in width. Let's check the properties of this image by right clicking on it and selecting the properties value. And then in the pop up, click on details. And when we check the dimensions of the image, it's 3509 by 2190. So selecting a bigger image always assures that you get the best of the image when you set it as the background for your desktop. Okay, so that takes care of setting a background image. Now let's look at setting a solid color. From the drop down under the background, go for the second option that says solid color. And choose on any of these colors that you like. And as you can see here, the preview is also updating. I selected red. Let's see how the desktop is going to look. I don't like it. So this way you can click and just look at the preview pane over here and determine if you like it. I found that I like the colors in the last row the most and I usually prefer to go with the storm 
so that it has a soothing effect and I really like that. But if you want to apply a custom color, you can just simply click on this plus button here and you can choose any color by dragging the white circle over here to any color of your choice and then adjusting the slider over here so that you can clearly see the variation in the color and then select the one that you like the most. So let's say if you don't like this color or if you have the hex values or the RGB values of a color, simply click on this more link. It's going to show you these colors. So you can use the RGB colors over here and you can input the hex values over here. So off the top of my head, I remember a hex value that says C all the way six times and I'm going to hit done. And as you can see here, it's light grain color. This is a hex value that I just applied. So let me revert it back to the color that I like. And let me close this. So this is how you basically change the background image for desktop or change the solid colors for the desktop in Windows 10. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment, share it on social media and subscribe to the channel. Soon after you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.